Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all, let us give an introduction of annuities. Now, in today's life, a number of transactions take place like sale and purchase of goods such as cars, washing machines, lands, etc. Some of these things are very expensive, but it is not possible to pay the total cost at once. Therefore, payments are made in installments over a period of time. Now the installments are calculated in such a way that the seller is fully compensated for his waiting time by paying interest calculated compoundedly. Therefore, annuity can be defined as a sequence of fixed equal payments made over uniform time intervals are at equal intervals of time with compound interest on these payments. Now these intervals may be a year, a half year, a month, etc. Now let us see what is a payment period. Now a payment period can be defined as the time between two successive Payment dates of an annuity. Now, if a sequence of payment is made on first of every month, then it is an annuity with payment period of one month. Now, let us discuss what is a term or duration of an annuity. Now the total time from the beginning of the first payment to the end of the last payment is called the term or duration of an annuity. Now let us see who is an annuitant. Now the person who receives the annuity is called annuitant. Now let us see what is an installment. Now the installment is defined as the payment of each single annuity. Now let us see what is a cessation period. The time that intervenes between the payment of two successive installments 
of an NUT is called its cessation period. Now let us discuss types of NUTs. Now there are three types of NUTs. First is NUT certain. Now NUT certain is an NUT which begins and ends on certain fixed dates and the payments are made for a fixed number of intervals of time. Now bank recording deposits are the example of NUT certain. And the second type of NUT is NUT contingent. Now in NUT contingent payments are made till the happening of an event such as death of a person, marriage of a girl, etc. Now in this case the term of an energy is uncertain and is for an indefinite number of years. For example, life insurance premium. Now the next type of annuity is perpetual annuity or perpetuity. Now it is an annuity whose payments Continue forever if at the end of the periods payments are made then it is called a ordinary perpetuity and if at the beginning of the periods the payments are made then it is called perpetuity due so as the term of this annuity is infinite. Therefore, the beginning date of perpetual annuity is known, but not the terminal date. For example, endowment fund to give scholarships to meritorious students every year in a board examination is a perpetual annuity. Now let us discuss the classes of annuity certain. On the basis of payment date, annuities certain are classified into three classes. First is annuity due. Now if the payments of installments are made in the beginning of each period the annuity is called an annuity due. For example recurring deposits life insurance premium payments etc. Now the second type is ordinary annuity or immediate annuity. Now in this type of annuity 
a series of payments or equal value is made at the end of each period. For example, a personal loan from a bank. Now next let us discuss deferred annuity. Now if the first payment is postponed or deferred until the expiration of a period of time equivalent to a certain number of payment intervals then annuity is called deferred annuity. It is also called reversion. In this case the term begins after the expiry of certain period called the deferment period. For example, the pension plan of Life Insurance Corporation of India. So in this session you have learnt about annuities, types of annuities and classes of annuity certain. So this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.